In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a fashion show using animation mode in Clo. We will also have some help with a third party video editing application. If you've not done animation in Clo previously, I would recommend reviewing tutorials on YouTube prior to going through this tutorial. This will take those concepts and show you how to edit multiple video captures to create a seamless fashion show. In this tutorial, you will be capturing the 3D window, so be sure to show or hide anything you want to be in the videos. This would include hiding trims, internal and baselines, or activating 3D quality render. You will need a third-party video editing software. It does not need to be something as feature-rich as Adobe Premiere. I am going to be using Camtasia. Another option would be iMovie on your Mac. Let's get started. The main concept here for success is continuity. So here we are in animation mode and let's review what we have going on from the top left corner. In our 3D toggle menu, you can see I've activated quality 3D render. And I have also turned off both my internal lines and my baselines. You can see down here, I have chosen a particular motion file for my animation. And I have already recorded my animation for my garment. And here is the garment animation here in my timeline window. And I have also set my current and start frames at 30, which is at the end of my transition part here in my timeline. So there are three things that are going to help us with our continuity. The first is the stage that you choose. Make sure that you always use the same stage for each of your videos. Second, I want you to open up custom view from the uh, by right-clicking in the background of the 3D window and choosing custom view. Find a view that you like here in the animation window and save this by clicking this little camera icon. You can rename the custom view, view by right-clicking on the name here in the palette. The next thing is that when you finally go to file, video capture, animation, this window is going to open up here. Choose whichever preset that you like, but remember which one you choose and use that for all three of your videos. So for all three of the videos, you will have the same stage, you will have the same custom view, and you will have the same preset for the video size. What I've done here is I have recorded all of the videos that I want to put together into my fashion show. I've used the stage that I showed you. I have used the custom view and I have used the same preset. Now, notice that the next model comes out just about when the previous model goes behind the other side of the wall which works just fine. What I'd like to do here though, is to make them hit the stage while the other one is actually on the stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some simple layering and editing so that it appears as though it's one continuous video. So here, is a screenshot of my Camtasia window. And you can see on the bottom, two tracks. One on the bottom has my four Clo videos that I recorded lined up one right after the other. On the layer above it, I have put snippets of, the, of three of the videos where the next video overlaps. What I have done is cropped the video on the left side of the window so that when that avatar walks in and the other avatar walks out, 
they can begin to do these at the same time. I would like to show you a video now of how it looks with the bottom layer transparent so you can see the difference. The shorter cropped layer is overlaid over the same layer underneath so that the cropped layer blends seamlessly in to the full layer.